hello again and welcome to another video on nudeflex today we are going to create this amazing login and register form some cool features of this project is that it has a button for viewing the password as you can see you can click on it and see the password and click on it again and hide the password so when there is no password typed the icon will become locked and when you start typing it will become i icon so which is really amazing and some really good designs out here so as well the sign up form it has the same functionalities as on the login so this project is also responsive in every device so um, it will be accessible on small devices as well okay let's get started this is our folder for our project we have the css javascript and the image which contains the background image okay this is our html our css and our main javascript file so let's start by creating a new link between our css and also for our javascript file okay now let's go ahead and search for our web icons we will use ion icons so let's go to usage and copy and paste in our file okay now our icons also are linked then let's start by creating a form container division and then our form column also create another division for button box which will hold the button for sign in and sign up we will add class of btn and then we we'll put the id login and for register or sign up we we'll put the id for register and also remember to differentiate those buttons first one will be button one and the second button two okay now let's go to our login form container we will use a form tag and put the form box class and the login form class also okay now below the form container we we'll add the form title which will be sign in and the form inputs division which will hold the input box and also in the input box we have um, input field where user would type username or the password then we put the press order to username and to must be required okay let's get the icons for the user copy it and paste it in the file and also remember to put the cross icon okay copy this and paste it we change to password and then also search for the lock icon copy it and paste it in the file also remember to put the cross icon okay as you can see we have everything so now let's go to our style.css and start styling it so yeah our base we we'll change margin to zero, padding zero, 
box sizing to border box and the font family will be poppins so remember to import it like we did on the top there and then our body we will change the background to our bg image okay see we have it but we need to make it look good so we change the position to center and then the background size to cover then the background attachment to be fixed and it must not be repeating no repeat okay now it is better so let's continue in our body and add display flex run items center justify content center and minimum height to be 100 viewport height and then the padding would be 20 pixels on the left and right okay let's continue with our form container let's start by making display flex and the width will be 450 pixels and 600 pixels height then the border 3 pixels will be solid with a white color with a low opacity okay you can see it looks nice and then also let's change the border radius to 30 pixels and add the bra to 20 pixels to make it look good so here we can put an overflow hidden but we can comment it for now we will use it later let's go to our form column which holds all those inputs and we make it position relative with 100% width and the overflow hidden but you can we, can, we, we will comment it also and then the button box let's start styling it by adding the spray flex justify content center and then the gap between those buttons to be 10 pixels margin top 30 pixels and then for a single button uh, we will add the font weight of 500 padding on top and bottom 8 30 pixels on left and right border none border larger 30 pixels and the background should be a white color with a low opacity and the color would be white and also add the box shadow to make it look good okay nice so the cursor will be pointer and the transition will be like that so let's start on the login button which is button one and change the color to uh, that dark blue and on the hover the opacity will reduce okay now you can see it is looking good okay let's go to the phone box itself then the position absolute uh, transform translate on x axis minus 50 percent display flex then flex direction to column align item center 
width 100% padding 30 pixels on left and right then transition so on the login form it will have those codes above plus the left will be 50 percent okay now it is in the middle okay let's go to the form inputs and the width will be 100 percent and the input box the position will be relative Okay, then on those inputs, uh, the width is 100%, height 55 pixels, then margin top 10 pixels and bottom 10 pixels, color white border none, border largest 50%, and also add the box shadow. So here on the input field, you have to increase the size to 16 pixels, then padding, and then also change the background color to be a white color with low opacity, and also add the bra effect. So let's change the color of the press holder to white and the size. Okay, you can see it is looking good. So change the icon. I'm going to put the position to absolute. And then top 50%, the light 20 pixels. And transform translate on Y minus 50 percent then color it will be white then the width 17 pixels and height 17 pixels and now it is looking good okay let's see let's add the form title there and style it margin top and bottom 40 pixels then the color white font size 28 pixels and font weight 600 okay now it is looking good okay let's continue uh, adding some other elements so first we change the password Press order to add other elements. Then I start by adding the forgot password division. To have a link for the forgot password. And then also add another division for the submit button. will have the sign in text and also the allow icon which will get from iron icons that one copy it and paste okay now let's continue with our social login and then add the social login box search for the logos have google and also add the cross to social login icon copy this and paste it and we use facebook twitter and github Okay, you can see you have all the icons set. 
so let's go and start styling them okay we have social login the spray flex gap 20 pixels margin top 20 pixels then on the social login box display flex line items center justify content center then height 40 pixels and width 40 pixels then change the background to the same color we have been using before also the border like this it will be a cycle add also the box shadow and the color to white so let's change the size for the icon using width okay and when we hover to scale down and the color change to that color and something is long let's add the transition okay okay now it is looking good okay let's continue with uh, it was, we did not do on the forgot password so let's go ahead and style it display flex just find content light and then gap 5 pixels and this will also be applied on remember me class we use it on register and then forgot password link the color will be white and the text decoration will be none size 14 pixels and then when the user hover text decoration will be underlying okay good so let's continue with our submit button display flex line item center justify content center cap 10 pixels background and then cassette point you can see that it has the same design on the input fields it is because we are using the same class which is input yes however the gap will increase in order to show that cool effect okay now we are done with the login okay let's continue with the register So we are going to copy all the code for the login and paste it and start changing some few stuffs like here register form and then you can see we have it and let's add some CSS for register form left will be minus 50 percent and then register form uh, title to have a margin block of 40 pixels and 20 pixels okay good good okay let's continue changing to sign up then there and remember me and then remember me we add the checkbox instead of having a forgot password link have a remember me okay you can still have it and change on the button to sign up also add the email ok 
okay good remember to add the class okay you can see we have it it is working well and there is a small error let's see okay yeah i forgot to change and remember me change the color of the rubber to white and the font size okay good so here we have a comma it should not be there yeah so that the register form can also be in the middle so we are going to add the javascript in order to make it work start by creating the login button using credit selector we get that id login correct that and copy it change to register button copy also the id the register and add the login form copy the class change to dot login form and also add the register form from the class register form okay now we have all the variables set we start working on the functions when the login button is clicked using add event reasoner and it is clicked the button style specifically on the background color it will change and that background color it will be removed from the register button and it has that same color we've been using and then the form the login form it will be in the middle and the register form it will be outside it will not be visible and also add the opacity in order to make it uh, look good let's copy it and change this to register button also when it is also clicked you have to exchange those values like that and then we have uh, 150 very good okay you can see it is working but the color it is not working let's see forgot to put the hashtag it will work okay yes so let me show you how it is really working can see yeah, it's working like that so remember where we commented the overflow hidden change it so that we will hide okay let's and comment this also okay, now we have our login working really well so now we are going to work on this icons and in order to make it the function i mean the form uh, be able to show the password when the user clicks on show password button start by creating our own input to change the icon when the user starts typing and add all these ids and on click functions do the same thing on the register button i mean in the register form add those id and those on click and on input functions 
so that it will work okay so let's start by adding the variables we have uh, our login input field get element by id from our login form use our log password and also our login input icon so do the same thing also on the register form okay well, let's start uh, create working on our functions with my log password which will show the password in the login form so if the type of an input is equal to password then it will change to text when the user clicks on the icon and also the icon it will change so that the user can click it again to hide the password because it is working here so let's also create a, an else okay show and then hide it show and hide it is working really well so let's copy this and paste it and change so that it would be available also on our register form so change those variables too Okay, now we are good to work on the synum form also. Okay. So the next thing it is that function to change icon when the user starts typing the password. So we use that value dot next in order to know when the value starts increasing when it is above zero which means there is at least one character and the icon would change to i outline instead of being a lock icon and then when there is nothing it will become a lock again so yes it is working nice okay So thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe.